Hi everyone. So I've been planning to make this video for a very long time. I usually talk about privacy a lot, but in this video I want to talk about security a little bit more. So there's a difference between privacy and security. When we talk about privacy, we're basically talking about uh, privacy of our data from mobile brands, government, and overall our digital presence. In simple terms, our data can be used against ourselves. If someone else knows about your behavior, your pattern, your location, your data, and as simple as your thoughts, so they might know what you think. And these things are usually for the people that we trust. I'll share a very good article in the description box about why privacy matters. But let's talk about security now. So when we think about security, we are talking about data that gets stolen by hackers, by malware, or if your phone gets stolen. These things are often neglected because we do not think about what will happen when we lose our data. I've seen many stupid comments when people say that security does not matter to me. I'm not a prime minister. I have nothing to hide. Uh, the privacy is just a myth and just let's not talk about it. But that's not true. I believe a lot of you people use online banking. You have credit cards on your phone, your medical records, and as crucial as your biometrics and as simple as your contacts. I know not everyone has something to hide, but they have something to protect. Like think about your parents' phone number. Someone gets that and they try to call on your behalf and they can put your parents into danger. I know these are extreme conditions, but these things happen. So you have to think about what happened when your data gets stolen. They have information about your financial information, their medical records, and a lot of personal information about you that can be used against you. Okay, now you say that your phone is locked and you have your password, but your phone gets stolen. It's secure, right? Uh, not really. They can unlock your bootloader, they can put your own OS code and just open your phone. What will you do then? How do brands and even operating system ensure that does not happen? This is where security comes in the picture and this can be divided into two parts, hardware security and software security. When we talk about hardware security, we are talking about either a dedicated chip that is separate from your CPU or a chip or a processor inside your chip itself. So we are talking about Google Titan's M chip, uh, Samsung Knox, Motorola ThinkShield, Apple's Secure Enclave and ARM um, Trust Zone. And if we talk about the software based security, we are talking about encryption, decryption and key stores. See, ARM Trust Zone is basically available in most of the devices because most of the devices are based on ARM architecture. What ARM Trust Zone does is, is segregate your data on the same hardware chip as a different process so that the normal apps cannot read your data. And that basically works with most of the thing and it also works with the trusted bootloader so that it can only read the trusted code. But what Google did here is they created a Titan M chip, which is a separate chip that is actually segregated from your CPU, which is going to store all of your sensitive information like your fingerprints, your passwords, uh, your credit cards, and everything that you need to protect from your malware attack or anyone steals your phone. It also ensured that your bootloader is unlocked and the code is running that is trusted. It's kind of similar with Apple Secure Enclave. So they're not using a dedicated hardware chip, but they're using a separate processor inside the chip itself. So you can basically say it's a chip inside a chip that is going to secure your data. Samsung Knox also uses the ARM Trust Zone, but it also gives you additional features like secure folder, which is going to create a segregated environment that where you can store your images, your text, your application that is not going to be used with some other applications on the phone itself. And then Samsung creates a Knox level for enterprise solution, which basically helps the IT people to control your phone with security, like a domain joint window PC. But let's not get into that because it's not for normal consumers. And there is Motorola as well, which is working on their new technology, which is called ThinkShield in the collaboration of Lenovo, which also basically does the same thing, securing your data with hardware and software security. And I'm glad to see that they're coming with new phones with the security enables like their G series. I have seen that in some phones. But what about the companies like OnePlus, Oppo, Realme, Xiaomi, Vivo? I'm sure they'll be using some sort of security, but I've never heard them talking about it. And then there is privacy issue with their OS like ads, uh, bloatware on their phones and the data sharing and unnecessary permissions. And to avoid those privacy issue, people usually flash custom ROM on their phone. So flashing the custom ROM is okay because you can see the code for another developer, it's open source. But the problem is that code can be read by another hacker as well. So the security issues can be there if you do not update your process and you're also unlocking your bootloader. So if you are unlocking your bootloader, that's another way if your phone gets stolen, there is no security there as well. And there are people who will say that you can flash a ROM without unlocking a bootloader. Just think about the security that the device is giving you already. I know specs are important, but I think we should also think about software, hardware security and privacy. That is really important. So I would suggest just paying a little bit more for the sense of security. Please like this video if you found this useful. My name is Rohit. I'll see you in the next one. Till then.